There are now nearly 100 craft breweries in the state of Indiana, but one in Indianapolis has been forced to limit its production due to extensive growth. RTV6 State House reporter Katie Hines explains how a few Republican lawmakers are trying to raise the bar. Friday is the busiest day in the tasting room here at Sun King, and the demand is only growing. That's why the brewery is asking the state for permission to distribute more. I think the main thing is the freshness. I enjoy the experience of getting a growler. Uh, I really enjoy the beer. The customers tell us that they're loyal to the brand. Those we talk to are excited about the possibility that Sun King and other microbreweries like it could soon distribute beer to a larger area. I think it's good for the state of Indiana. Um, it represents the state of Indiana very well. It's a good beer. It's a good product. Dave Colt co-founded Sun King a little more than five years ago. He manufactured and sold 500 barrels of beer during the first few months of business, but that number grew to 27,000 last year. We used to have distribution in uh, other parts of the state, but we had to pull that back so that we could hopefully you know, absorb some of that and be able to grow without getting too in trouble. That's why he's teaming up with another brewery, Three Floyds, to urge state lawmakers to raise the limit on how much microbreweries in Indiana can produce and sell. A pair of proposals would double the current limit from 30 to 60,000 barrels. Senator Jim Merritt is proposing to raise the bar even further to 90,000 barrels. It's just like any other um, entity in the state that's growing. It, ad it adds employment. It adds um, excitement and social. Colt says his goal is to distribute Sun King to every county in the state. We're homegrown Hoosiers producing stuff, so let us, you know, let us do what we do best. A hearing on the bills has not yet been scheduled, but as of right now, no lawmakers have expressed any opposition publicly. Katie Hines, RTV6.